Okay, we're back. It was getting hung up on an update. But we have it up and going. And uh, let me show you um, what I mean, what I've discovered on this particular version. Um, we do have the drivers for everything. Unlike some people, we actually go in and we actually, you know, find drivers for everything uh, to make the computer work right. Um, so basically we have the right uh, display driver, the, 70, the 7660G, uh, HP DVD, uh, we have human interface, SATA controllers, uh, True Vision HD. Uh, we have basically everything that um, it actually needs to uh, work. Now, this is the uh, system settings on it. Uh, we have the control Catalyst Control Center, the screen resolution, I think it's 1366, so it's their basic one. Uh, this is going to, we'll run you the specs here. So we'll go to the control panel, system security. You ran processor speed, and this is a uh, Windows 7 Home Premium Service Pack One, the A10. Uh, it's 2.3, and I believe it turbo's up to uh, uh, quite a bit higher than that. I think it turbo's up to three something. I can't remember right off the bat. But here are the numbers on it: six nine seven two six seven six seven five nine. And we have HP's Media uh, Smart Cam here, and we have HP's Power DVD, uh, Miro. Google Chrome, AVG, uh, customer's uh, office suite, and it's all set here. But again, if you want to actually downgrade the NVM6 to Windows 7 Home Premium, it's you know on you. You know, once you downgrade it, make sure you uh, have backed up all your Windows 8. Uh, if you don't know how to do it, take it to uh, a computer shop that can do it for you. You actually need your Windows 8 DVDs. And in case you want to sell it, and you need a copy of Windows 7 Home Premium, but um, it, it can be done. Uh, there can be hiccups. There can be problems with it, unexpected problems. It took us quite a while to track down the correct drivers for it, but uh, just uh, we wanted to post a video to show people that it can be done. Uh, as for future laptops, I'm not exactly sure. This might differ between companies. I know HP is not very helpful on that. They don't post any support drivers uh, for their Windows 8 laptops if you want to downgrade it to Windows 7. But thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, please post them at the bottom of the video.